What's up, y'all? It's Jasmine J back with another episode of CC Go, where we promote small businesses, events, artists, and just talented people here in Houston. So today I have a pleasure of speaking with YZ, the owner of YZL Production. If you don't mind, please introduce yourself. Tell us who you are and what it is that you do. Okay, okay. So first off, I'm going to let y'all know I'm YZL, owner of YZL Production, YZL Party Inflatables, YZL Photography, just yes. YZL. That's how we do it. I love um, that. What I do is just bring visuals to different creatives that they have that maybe not understand how to get the visuals that they need, the type of visuals that they need, the consistency and et cetera like that. So like I said, I just bring that camera for them. I love that. So let's dive into that. What does YZL stand for? YZL stands for many things, but what it originally started out with is Young Zoe Lodge. And the reason behind that is just like, I'm young, I'm Zoe, you know what I mean, Alonzo, that's my, my government, and then I live large. So I'm not us, right. You feel me? We just do, we do us to our extent, and that's what I had to learn. Yeah, because that's what it's all about. So how did you, How at what point did you come up with that? Because I, I see that that's like your main brand. All your businesses are under that. So at what point or what happened in your life where it was like, okay, YZL, that's what it's going to be? Well, see, I had a homie that, that moved from California and that was out here. And uh, we ended up going through some things together. And, you know what I mean? We were trying to build as young men. Mm -hmm. And so we was uh, on the verge to create our own battle rapping type thing. So I was like, okay, I know all these artists is... You know what I'm saying? Coming up on the Southwest side, A Leaf, Texas. Shout out to A Leaf. You know how we do it. Hey. And um, I was like, I don't need to be a rapper. I don't need, I need to bring something that everybody else ain't got and to try to really build things. I was really a young visionary. Honestly, I used to sit down and just meditate. Dream. Mm hmm. Dream. Honestly. I love that. So you're originally from Louisiana. How yes, did you the end? Boot. I know that's right. Yes, so sir. how'd you end up in H Town? Uh, family things. Um, and my mama left. And she moved out here for a better life kind of thing. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was just really the, the nutshell of it. She was young. She had me at 17. So she felt like a bigger city would have been better for me, which she wasn't wrong. Shout out to your mom. For sure. Making it, making you know it what do I mean? what it do. I was a young mom, same age. And hey, at that point, you got to get it, you know? Mm -hmm. You got to really think about them kids. For sure. So when did you pick up a camera? Uh, my first camera, well, let me bring it all the way back. A lot of people like know me from out there on the southwest side, but they also know me for doing different things. So mm -hmm. I was, I used to stay at the school for the little, you know, videography club and stuff like that. I know and, that's right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just trying to, and I, <laughs> shout out to my lady, but I was doing it for the gals. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what they was. They was, they was, they was, they was staying at the school for that. Someone learning, yeah. getting their information. Yeah, so when I would go to school, it wasn't like I was just some random. It was like, oh, that's Lonzo. That's, you know what I mean? Back then, oh, that's Zoe or whatever. You feel yeah. me? So it was just like, that's why I did it. I, I, I my people told me, young, like, you don't follow no dudes. Right. <laughs> you follow the females. And that's what they was doing. They was doing photography and acting and all of this. So I was like, okay, debate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, was, so you're like, okay, yeah, let me I'm see all what that. it is. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I was out there in the streets thug and trying to be a little bad kid, but I was also educated. Yeah. So I would do, like I said, I just, I play, I guess, both realms. I just did things. So that's the same so thing. So around how old were you were when you started doing that? Staying after school and really getting into the arts? Elementary. Oh, yeah. Elementary. Like, this is, this honestly, and as they say, this is elementary for me. Yeah. I just take it to the basics. And so the beauty of where I'm at now is I'm actually able to be an adult and make the decisions to grow, basically. Yeah. So I'm using the inspirations of youth and different things like that to build what I have now with the funding and et cetera of the business mind. Man, that's a beautiful thing. Shout out to you. Shout out to all you. the young black men out here doing what they got to do. So overall, the brand YZL, what, what is your overall mission? I know you have several businesses under mm -hmm. that brand, but what is your overall mission and how do you want that brand to impact the community? Well, my, my mission is to show that I, as in look like a lot of other folks, you know what I mean? I'm wicked up. I got tattoos on my faces that we can we can do things that people that don't look like us can do. Right. And so that's, that's my main mission. That's why I pick up different hats and, and wear them, and I try to wear them well. And yeah. so that's the that's the agenda, to just show and inspire, and then in the midst of that, give my creative vibe off, because it, it, it builds up. And, and, and real creators, they understand that frustration of like seeing things like, man, I can create, I can create, I can yeah. create. And so that's, that's really where it comes from. The mission is to be a creative 
and to leave that impact. Yeah, for sure. So as a creative, what are some of the challenges? I know I know for us here, we do the same thing. You know, we're, we're creators all day long and we try to help small businesses, artists, any and everybody. We try to help them with their creativity by cultivating a community where they feel comfortable. And in doing that, there are many challenges that we have to overcome on a daily basis as a team. So for you, um, what are some of the challenges you have to overcome to stay true to your creativity, but still handle business as business should go? Uh, just myself. Myself is my greatest defeat, yeah. honestly. Like, uh, I have many ideas and I have many executions that I've done. However, the, the things that I haven't done that I'm very capable of doing, I'm holding myself back. And even the people that may distract me or don't distract me, it's not them. It's, it's you. It's me. Yeah. And, and and that's why I say that's that's my, my, my greatest challenge is me because I feel as though I'm I'm great in many different aspects. So it's like sometimes I have a hard time asking for help. Yeah. I feel like I can do it myself or just give me time. You know what I mean? So it's like I said, that that is my my greatest, greatest fallback. Um, and then outside of that is just building the right team, being around the right folks. Yeah. Um, I have been blessed to be around a select few people, but the whole group wasn't right. Yeah. So it, it you know what I mean? You know, that's when groups fall apart. And yeah. so that's, I've been through that. And so right now it's like, I'm around like-minded people and realizing that that was what I was missing. I was the mind behind a lot of things and we was able to create stuff. However, if I would have had a few more me's doing their own thing, we could have, I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So with with the creativity, being somebody that has so many ideas, so many things that come to your mind, what are some things you do to structure that out? Because I think that's a, a very important thing, you know, especially for us creatives. I, I feel like I have a million ideas a minute, you know, right, like, right, I'm right. like, oh, this, 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 this. But there's certain things I have to do to actually bring those, execute on those ideas and bring them to life. What are some of your processes to do that? Um, I, I try to sit down. Yeah. Just sit down. Just really sit down and try to make sure that I can bring it all together. Like I said, this is my second run at this. So it's like I'm really tuning everything together. That's why it's YZL Production Photography and then Party Inflatables, which is a, a photo booth. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just if I can keep bringing that connection to all of my ideas, it makes sense. So, I mean, like, like I said, I, I have my CDL, so I drive trucks. But within that CDLs, is like, I want to be able to have a production team with that. So it's like, we are driving these massive production equipment. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? But like I said, I do that myself. So when these people are coming up, like, oh, man, we, how are we going to get this there? Like, I can talk rates. I know rate cons. I can tell you, not, uh, you know what I'm saying, per mile, how much we're going to pay you and yeah. et cetera. So you're not going to get over on me. And that's the main thing of, like, like you said, just trying to bring everything together, though. All these different talents and different skills I have may have taught myself and learned. How can they translate? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, shout out to myself for real. Just, just <laughs> I know uh, that's right. People don't know, but I, I just graduated this semester with my bachelor's in communication. Man, shout out to you! Congratulations. Yeah, just moving in silence, you dig? So it's like that is what taught me though to to bring that connection. Communication really rules the world. They yes, say it money is. does, but money is a form of communication. Yeah. That's man. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. jams, jams, jams. You did. So with um, so how do you market all of the things that you do? Like, what are some of the strategies that you actually take to get yourself out there? Is it word of mouth? Is it social media? You know, how do people know that you have a production? You do videography. You do inflatables. Like, mm -hmm. what's your strategy? Uh, social media is for sure, but that's just to have somewhere to bring people to when I am face to face. Like, okay, who are you? This is what I have done without having to ramble and ramble and ramble. Um, and other than that, just being present, linking with a lot of people, networking, and then not not just what people say, like, oh, I got your information, like actually networking, like exactly. you, like bugging you until I realize whether or not you're trying to work. Yep. And then, okay, move on to the next person that I didn't network with and see an opportunity that we could build together, not just an opportunity for myself. And so that's... Because yeah, that lead, lead, that leads right into my next question was, what is your take on networking? Because I feel like some people don't like networking just because they're not um, comfortable, you know, around mm -hmm. other people or talking to people that they don't know. But for me, the power of networking has changed my life. You know, being in rooms that I, I needed to be in, you know, taking that step, just not being f fearful, putting myself in the places I need to be. So for you, how has networking changed your businesses and your brand and where you're going? Well, it's blessed for me. 
uh, blissfully put me right here in this seat right here. You know what I mean? Like That's a fact. Yeah, like it's, I mean, I'm in a room full of great people. Yeah. The building is great, you know what I'm saying? Shout out CCN. So it's like that, that type that. of, of course, of course, that type of situation is what networking app has brought me. Uh, it's taught me a lot of stuff. I, I listen. So when people be talking, even though they might not be um, necessarily directly networking with me, I mm-hmm. listen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's, that's like I said, networking has put me in a spot to where I, I network with so many different people to where their circles become my circles so fast. Yeah. And I'm a genuine person. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can take it to the street or we can take it to the school. Yeah. So we can, you know, we can stay in the middle. So it's like, I, I, I don't do that foo-foo stuff. So it's like, people really gravitate to me because I'm going to show up, I'm going to show out. And then if we got some other opportunities, I can rock with you on that too. Man, that's such a beautiful thing. So that goes right into the next thing I want to talk about. So I'm really, really big on the youth. You know, I feel like the young people now, they're this, they can do whatever they want. They have access and resources to so much, you know, to learn. But some of them are, are negatively influenced, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think it's our duty as people who kind of been through some things and are choosing to do things the right way. It's our duty to give back to the young people and to help guide them in the right direction. So for all of the young people out there in Louisiana, out here in Houston, A-Leaf, that want to do something different with their lives and maybe they want to get into content creation or or anything like that, what is your advice to them? Uh, move around from what you're doing right now. If you're not satisfied with what you're doing right now, you have to change it. You have to physically change it. That's We dream all the time, and that's the first step, you know what I mean? But you have to actually get up and change it. And it don't happen overnight, but when it do, it it feels like it happens overnight. I know, right? You know, this, this little bit of success that I got going on right now, it feels like it just happened. But, I mean, I've been asleep, like... <laughs> Never, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I get no sleep. Like, I just went to sleep, what, seven this morning, got back up, had to come here. Yeah. It's just like, that's the type of things that you have to physically change. Prior to me being back on social media and pushing YZL production and et cetera, I was sleeping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I had to change sure. that. I had to really switch up what I was doing. I wasn't outside. I was really low key. I was teaching myself. I was meditating. I was learning different skills and et cetera. However, I wasn't pushing the way that I'm pushing now. So what I did was, Easily, I just changed up what I was doing. So if you, for example, if you see that people are out doing this and shooting videos and doing that, like, just go pull up. Yeah. Don't 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 worry about if you got the right equipment or how you dress. Just show up. Yep. You, you never know. Somebody might just, they, like, a lot of folks not looking at your dress. A lot of folks are. But in the standpoint of, like, you changing your life and you changing what you're doing, just get up and do something different. It don't even have to be what you thought you was doing. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I definitely am big on that. Um, on multiple podcasts, I say this, you know, that you must show up for yourself. And what I mean by that is you got to get up out the bed. You know what I'm saying? You got to get up right. and you have to put work in towards something. And it's not going to always be beautiful. There's going to be days where it's, it's hectic. Right. It's like, what the heck am I doing? But you got to give it your best for that particular day. And if you continue to do that every single day, working on a plan towards your goals, it's just a matter of time. It's, I mean, that's, that's, that's as they say when you be watching them Instagram stories. It's just easy. Do this, do that. It's literally that. Now, when you do it, a lot of people expect for I mean expect exact results. Right. And that's not what you do it for. You do it for really the consistency to build and then to show growth. Yeah. And then as you show that, people just really start to gravitate. They're like, oh, he's still doing the same things. Yeah. He's still doing okay. Stay. Okay. He's taking this. Okay. Okay. And then once you really didn't then bug them, hopefully you didn't create so many different types of pieces or et cetera to where you can grab a certain audience and then you know. You work with people that are more developed than you to teach you certain skills to where you can target an audience for real. Man, I love that you say that because mentorship is so important. Mm -hmm. I always tell anybody, no matter what you want to do, if you're finna start a business or something you've never done before, you definitely need to find a mentor or a teacher because I'm a strong believer in order to lead, you must follow. So Mm -hmm. if you're pouring into other people, somebody got to be pouring into you. You know what I'm saying? And then that consistency, like you you must stay down with the goal. Like Mm -hmm. it's not going to happen overnight. Even though, like you say, once it starts happening, you feel like it happened overnight. But these are years of Mm -hmm. putting in that work you know and I always try to encourage entrepreneurs to enjoy the journey because it's not happening overnight Mm -hmm. so the good days celebrate the bad days find the good in the day you know and just stay consistent on what you want to do so 
with saying all of that, what are some things you have on your plate for 2024 that you know for sure by the end of this year, mm-hmm. this is what I'll be doing? Um, I mean, I'm going to be known out here for sure. Like, I know that's I mean, right. It's, 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 it's right there, honestly. A lot of folks is, is starting to see my name. Mm-hmm. They just, I think what happens for me is they expect greatness from me, so they're not surprised. Yeah. And that and that's, that's also a, a hindrance. You know, yeah. A lot of people both blow up because, they, like you said, they, they changed their life overnight. They wasn't doing that, and now they're doing it, so people are excited to see that. Yeah. I've, I've been on this journey for a while. 2016, like when you asked earlier, when I picked up a camera, that's when I when I purchased my own camera. It was in 2016 and got serious with this and attempted to do something. You know what I mean? And so it's like it's been years and I took hiatus, but I've been watching, I've been studying other videographers and et cetera to to really get angles and, and it's just yeah. different stuff. So it's just So let, let's dig into that, because I think that's important. When you, when it comes to like studying your craft, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Figuring out how to get better at what it is that you do. When you first started in 2016 and you were studying heavily, about how many hours a week do you think you was putting towards your craft? Because I think that's important conversations to have and be transparent with people right. because they think that, you know, okay, well, yeah, I watch a YouTube video once a week. It teaches me that. But that's not pouring into your craft. Like I pour into my craft a lot differently than others. Like I said, I take from everything. Okay. So as I'm sitting here talking with you, I'm learning. I'm yep. listening. I'm watching. I'm, I'm watching way. dude over there. So it's just like I'm... Life that's, experiences. Yeah, so that's how I really pour into my craft. So as I was watching YouTube videos, I wasn't like I mean I don't I don't watch them for the entertainment. Yeah. So when I watch movies, movies I don't watch them for entertainment. I'm trying to see how they're switching these scenes. Are they are they doing this foreground and they showing these wide angles and then how they're getting these close ups and point of views? When are they doing it? Why and certain things like that to show emotions. I'm learning, learning. Yeah. So then I can try to translate that to something that doesn't really focus on that, like music videos. Yeah. They don't really. Music video is just hype. Yeah. Fly clothes, <laughs> fly women, good camera lens, you good to go. Yeah. But at the same time, if I can bring a little bit of, of formality to it, it's just like, wow, what do you have there? It's just like, how do you, you don't even know that you're being manipulated, basically. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Motion for sure. wise. Yeah, for sure. You know what? That's funny you say that about movies because since I've started the network and had the studio, I can't. Rarely do I watch something I'm entertained. I can't I can't focus on that. I'm all behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out who's the director, right. who's, the, who's the executive producer of this, why are they doing it like this? Is that a wall? Is that an LED wall? Is that a set? <laughs> like, I'm all over the place. And I, now I laugh. I'm like, I can't even enjoy because I love, um, like, FBI police shows. I love mm-hmm. that. I always have loved that type of the show. Old school. Yeah. But yeah. now when I watch it, it's totally different. I'm like, they're in a warehouse. This is not what I thought this was, you know. But. <laughs> It's, it's learning You know what I'm right. saying I'm able to see things From a different point of view And it inspires my creativity mm-hmm. So what are some things You do to inspire Your creativity um, That's a tough one To inspire myself I, Like I said I, I just try to get out And meditate And matter of fact I try to go back To the things That I, I thought about To inspire me Because inspiration Comes so easily to me I can be Closely cl- uh, Apparel You know what I'm saying Inspired I can be musically inspired Video inspired, uh, so different things like that. So I try to just really be like, oh man, I remember that. All right, let me do that. Yeah. <laughs> let me actually, like I said, just take that physical time to do it. And yeah. then what comes from that, then I try to elevate from there. So if it sucked, all right, I might hold off on a minute or I might really dig into it to try to get better. But I try things so much. Um, a quote that I was taught a long time ago is in your 20s, I'm only 26, by the way. Um, when you're in your twenties, you try everything. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, they only want to try one thing. I'm, I'm, this is what I do. You doing all these different things? It's like, yeah, I'm only 26, bro. <laughs> so, I mean, I still got four more years in my plan. Yeah. So when I turn 30, I'm gonna use what I was good at and try to do that. And then in my forties, I should be turned good to up, go. right? And so I love that. Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm a journeyman right now. At first, I was a young bull, so I was head first into everything, everything. You know what I mean? From Everything. So yeah. it's just like now I'm I'm toning back to be like, all right, I got time. Yep. And 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 blessfully, you know what I'm saying? Bless the Holy Spirit that I do have that time. Yep. That's that's really that right there. For sure. So what are some things that you do to take care of yourself? Because in this journey of entrepreneurship here, it's a lot of work. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like you said, you went to bed at seven mm-hmm. and you're here right now. You right. Know? So that's not, you ain't, I don't know no that sleep. you got any sleep. Right, right, right. Well, <laughs> so self-care is very important though, right? right? So what are some things you do to keep yourself refueled? 
uh, brush my teeth every morning. That's <laughs> Shout a, out to that. You dig? <laughs> Floss, you know, brush that teeth, get that ginger bite out of there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> get all them chemicals out the head. Um, yeah. Honestly, I just, I try to relax. Um, I, I, I thrive in this go, go, go mode. Yeah. When I'm not go, 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 I get real depressed. And I've learned depression these past few years, yep. not understanding what it was. Um, I used to be way bigger. I was 300 pounds like five, seven months ago. So, Shout out to you. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm working out now. You know what I mean? Just trying to really just be me and I'll stop worrying about so many other people. So, that's that's my self-care. If I can worry about myself, then it, it just goes hand in hand. I do so much worrying about other people that I think I might be good and have so much practice that I could probably take care of myself. With, you know what I mean? <laughs> I take care of everybody else. Huh? Yeah, I took care of everybody else so well that I should be able to take care of myself well. So I'm I'm coming back to that. And that's why YZL Production is so forefront right now because it's me. Yeah. Um, Everybody around me, I, I, I bless and I hope that they're doing well as what I've put them in position to do. Yeah. And so we're just going to keep rocking like that. I love that. I love that. And I think it's good to recognize that about yourself because I'm the same way. I, f- I know that I, I perform better in a fast paced environment and even with pressure mm-hmm. and being the, the founder and the leader of this, you know, sometimes I have to create, you know what I'm saying? I have to create that fast paced environment for me to feel comfortable mm-hmm. to, to work the way I like to work. But I've recognized in my growing and in my journey that, you know, I do have to sometimes slow down, take time, meditate, work mm-hmm. out, take care of myself, do things of that nature so that I don't get burnt out, you know. Mm-hmm. But it's good to recognize what is your pace, like what is your environment to perform your best. And I'm one of those who perform better under stress. It's yeah, just, I mean, it's just so just much what fun. It is. Yeah, yeah, it you, is. You know, that dopamine, you have so much different things going on when you're doing the same thing. That's why them folks be done. Yeah. And be done. They tired. Yeah, that tired. repetitive I'm, every day. Yeah, I, I haven't seen nothing yet in my eyes. You know yeah. I mean? I've done so many things to other folks, but I haven't seen nothing. And so it's just like levels to it, basically. And so, yeah. like I said, man, that fast pace for me is like, it's amazing. Like, I feel so good right now. Yeah. The fact that I was, I'm able to be here. So if I would have still been asleep, I mean, you know, yeah, <laughs> there's sure. no feeling. There's no nothing there. Right. Right now, I'm like, I'm high off life I right now. Yeah, yeah, I know that's good. right. Yeah. So May is Mental Health Month, right? And I'm very big on taking care of your mental health. You know, what is your state? What is your take on mental health and how important it is in our community? Uh, it's, you talk about the community. It's very important. We're we're not really taking heed to it. No matter how many influencers and big name people talk about it, we're not really doing what the work that needs no, to be done at uh, all. Mm-mm. The, the the people that are our Patriarchs and and, and um, matriarchs of the family, they are not really taking the time to sit down and be like, look, this is how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Maybe we haven't been doing that, yep. but maybe you should start Started. to strive that yep. way. And they're not. And so it's like, I, I, I try to put that into my kids, like, <laughs> just do something. Yep. You'll find that, that, that mental health, that satisfaction that you have because mental health really is, is is being stagnant. That's why I say I, I go into deep depression and not knowing it. I'm thinking I'm cool. My lady asking what's wrong with you and I'm I'm, I'm quiet. It's cause I ain't doing nothing. Right. I get I have so much passion behind creating and seeing the results and seeing the smiles or not seeing the frowns. I don't want to be tripping. Yeah. <laughs> like it is what That's it is. That's a part of it. Yeah, like I'm I'm not here to satisfy everybody, but if I can catch those certain few, boom, you know what I mean? We can really do something. So it's, when it comes to mental health you have to take care of yourself. You have to, first of all, you have to learn yourself. You got to, you know what I mean? You have to be on your supreme mathematics and know yep, yourself. That's you a fact. I mean? 1912, you got to really learn that and, and you take them, them keys, you know what I'm saying? Your knowledge, your wisdom, you understand it. And then you you realize who you are. Yep. I know me. I'm high tempered, I'm very loving. And so what I got from that is I'm just passionate. Yep. So when I when I see things, I, I protect that. I, like they say, protect your energy. And so I, like I said, when you learn yourself, if you... People like to say, I ain't got no attitude. If you got attitude, no, you got attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I get attitudes. Yeah. Male or female. It ain't being a female to have emotions as a male and it ain't manly to have not have emotions as a female. Right. It's just your experience, it's your life for real. So just know yourself and then try to change it appropriately. You know what I mean? Don't Definitely. if you get if you get upset, work on it. Just don't allow certain energies and when energies come and then you'll start to see that your mind is like 
I don't need that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. But definitely getting to know yourself is very important when we talk about mental health. So mm-hmm. you can know, like you say, your triggers, the things that make you happy, things that make you sad, cry, whatever the case. When you know yourself, you're able to protect yourself. Correct. Protect that energy. So I think that was great. Great, great stuff you just gave out. So before we wrap this up, is there anything else you want to share about what you may be having coming up in 2024 with your businesses or anything, any events, anything you got going? Oh, for surely, for surely. Um, on top, y'all will know me one way or another. I know that's Good right. Bad, you dig? So that's really my main goal. Outside of that, I will be in California uh, the 13th and the 14th coming up for and it's going to be a, a writing camp. Out there, so it's gonna be a lot of content. So y'all definitely tune into my Instagram for that. It'll be photos, drop the mics, videos, a lot of collaborations. Outside of that, you're gonna see me here, Flash Fridays. I mean, hey. you know what I mean? Just checking in at CCN, you're gonna see me that too. So I mean it's it's like different stuff like that. Uh Roots of Royalties, I'm rocking with them. So it's like we 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 got a lot of stuff coming up, but it's hard to say because I'm so everywhere. I'm I'm really trying to find out who really gonna rock with me for real. Right. If you see what I got going on and what I'm trying to do. And if you have a vision, I mean, the way I the way I work with other people so well, you can work with me just that same way. Yep, you that's know a fact. I mean? It's all about collaboration and mm-hmm. finding community, man. Anything from business, whatever you're trying to do in life, once you find the community that you, what you're trying to do will impact them, serve them, uh, whatever the case may be, once you find that community, the sky's the limit because mm-hmm. there are people out there want, in that community, they're loyal. It's just a matter of finding those and everybody is everybody is not your target audience. Correct. Everybody not going to rock with you. Everybody not going to support you. That's okay. It's mm-hmm. okay. But when you find the people that got your back and can respect what you're doing and have things to add to and can value from what you have, the sky's the limit. I mean, every time, like I said, I mean, we dripped out of here and this is clothing brands from my homies. I mean, it's just how we rock. I know that's right. Yeah. So if you don't mind looking in that camera, letting them know where they can find you. I go by the name of YZL. You can find me. And all you got to do is type in YZL and then a ton of them going to pop up. YZL Production, Official YZL IG, YZL Party Inflatables, YZL Photography. YZL is what you need, you dig? Hey, I can second that. Shout out to YZL. He's been here at CCN. Has done nothing but shown us love. Been here to create, doing great things. So looking for a videographer, you're looking for someone to tap in, help you get your content to the next level, definitely check out YZL Productions. Check us out over here at CCN. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe on the page. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe for YZL. And we'll catch y'all next time. Peace. (laughs)